James, the son of Zebedee, put to death with the sword by Herod Agrippa in Jerusalem, A.D. 45. James, surnamed the Greater, was the son of Zebedee and Salome, and a fisherman by occupation. But Christ having called him to be his disciple, he abandoned fishing and followed Christ. Matthew 4.21, Mark 1.19 He was instructed for a considerable time to gather with the other disciples in the duties of the apostleship until he was properly sent out in that capacity. Matthew 10.2, Mark 6.17, Luke 6.13 He was endowed with the gift of working signs and miracles and on account of this special gift, he was one of the three surnamed Bonerges, that is, sons of thunder. He was with Jesus on every remarkable occasion, so much so that he was chosen by the Lord to behold his glory upon the holy mount, and afterwards to witness his sufferings in the garden of Gethsemane. Mark three seventeen and 18, Matthew seventeen one, and chapter 26, 36. Of him Christ had predicted that he should drink of the same cup of which he, Christ, would drink, and that he should be baptized with the same baptism with which he was baptized, that is, that he should be subject to his, Christ's, suffering and death. Matthew twenty, twenty-two, and 23. After the death of Christ, he joined the other apostles to be a witness with them of his suffering, death, and resurrection, and to be instructed concerning his kingdom during the forty days after his resurrection. After Christ's ascension, he also remained at Jerusalem, and when he, together with the other apostles, had there received the Holy Ghost, he preached the gospel in Judea and Samaria. Acts 1, 13 and 14. From there, as some relate, he went to Spain, but meeting with little success, he returned to Judea, where it is said, he was opposed by Hermogenes, a sorcerer. But as Abdias, bishop of Babylon, and others relate many things of him, which seem to be altogether fictitious, we shall not mention them. This apostle lived only until the fourth year of the emperor Claudius, at which time Agabus had predicted there should be a dearth throughout all the world. At that time Claudius charged Herod Agrippa, to suppress the church of Christ. Then Herod laid his bloody hands on this apostle and on the feast of the Passover put him in prison. Shortly afterwards he was sentenced to death and executed with the sword in Jerusalem. This occurred in the year 45 after the birth of Christ. Acts 12, 2. Clemens relates that the executioner, seeing his innocence, was converted to the Christian faith and died with him. According to the annotation of Eusebius Pamphilius from Clemens Alexandrinus, the executioner was so moved on account of the death of James that he professed himself to be a Christian, and so, as he states, both were led forth together to death. As they were led out, the executioner asked James to forgive him. James, after a little deliberation, said, Peace be with thee, and kissed him, and thus both were beheaded. James was the first martyr of the apostles. This history shows the alacrity of the ancient believers.